it's Melly, and today is Saturday, August 30, 2 p.m., 2.01 p.m., and I am currently in the library because I am going to work on the paper that we submitted. So for context, uh, we submitted a paper like about a month ago, and just last week, while we were doing our karaoke night, my advisor sent me the uh, reviewers' comments on it, and throughout the whole week, we were working on polishing our manuscript according to what the reviewers' comments are. And now, I'm just gonna polish up things and like see them, like double check everything if we have indeed answered the reviewers' comments. So, for those of you who are not familiar, um, the process of getting your paper approved if you want to submit it into a journal is that first and foremost you have to have your own research paper so you have to write everything and then from there you choose which journal you want to publish your paper in and then we ended up submitting it in soft matter and then once you submit your paper it's going to go through peer review and after the peer review they're it, they're going to decide whether they want to accept your paper or they're gonna say no, no, bye bye to your paper, or they're gonna accept your paper, but with revisions. So in our case, we uh, they have decided for, for the latter. So they're gonna accept your paper, but for revisions. So this is actually my first ever paper to be published. And I never really relate to those memes saying that our oh, reviewer two is it's too much like reviewer two just keeps on nitpicking on my paper reviewer two is, is this person who has just so many comments and i was like okay let's see about our reviewer two this time and sure enough reviewer two was like before i give you guys a go signal to publish your paper you first have to answer 20 something questions with extra extra comments so like his comments it's like around five to six pages long. If we compare it to the first and the third reviewer, their comments is just literally one page. <laughs> we were like, me and my advisor were like, this guy is probably bored with his life. But you know what? We just did our utmost best to try to bow down and kiss their feet because we just want to get this paper published. Yeah, and some of reviewer twos comments are so absurd that even my advisor was like let's just let's just leave it let's not answer it completely let's just say thank you so much for your kind recommendation we will uh, we will really look into that further but like i think this suggestion would not be implemented in this paper instead we will work on it on our next paper like literally guys just try to bow down to their feet and kiss their toes if that's all that takes for this paper to get published. Anyway, the library is going to close at around 5, so I have roughly around 3 hours. Let's see if I can get everything done by then. first 30 minutes and I'm currently on a break for five minutes and boy I underestimated how cold it is right here <laughs> like I know that the weather overall outside has decreased because you know we're transitioning to fall but like I don't know why the library they just like bursted the temperature for the AC oh my god <sighs> and I'm dressed kind of lightly I actually don't have like much progress yet I just reviewed our responses for reviewer one and now i'm currently in reviewer three i'm gonna do reviewer two's responses last because like it's it's too long <laughs> yeah i'm just trying to check the consistency in the paging i'm trying to check if everything is all there like, i really should have just 
brought a hot matcha latte instead of an ice matcha latte because what the heck it's so cold in here <laughs> second break and i am now working on our responses for reviewer two's comments <sighs> I still have approximately 12 minutes left for my final Pomodoro session, but I've already finished comparing the draft and the responses. So as you can see here in this side, I open up our manuscript in my Mac, and on this side, I have the responses open. So whenever I see some inconsistencies, I can easily like switch in between them and I can like easily put in my comments and I'm gonna continue going through our manuscript in my apartment because I seriously couldn't take the cold anymore like I couldn't even finish my matcha it's that cold like seriously so I'm gonna go through our manuscript see if we have if I can spot any technical or grammatical errors or whatever whatever else so yeah bye bye I'm gonna leave the library now <laughs> I don't have my dead cat with me so the audio is probably gonna be so noisy like the background I mean yeah anyway so I'm just here I just stopped by for a little while because I just want to defrost it was so cold inside the library I was freezing I just want to defrost so here I am like sitting directly underneath the sunlight while we're at it I actually am so grateful about the privilege that I have right now like everything is just in my grasp like i have a library where i can always go to over the weekend to study i also have access to a lot of libraries of journals and articles which i do not have any access before so when i was in undergrad we used to rely a lot on sci-hub and although it was illegal but like you know we were just trying to make ends meet like it was the only thing that is available for us i mean we could also ask people from like the bigger universities like up diliman to have it downloaded have the journal articles downloaded for us but like it sometimes take a while and we don't really have like a close connection with anybody in up diliman so yeah we just end up relying on sci-hub instead so i'm just really grateful and happy that i get to live this life that I get to have this kind of privilege. So I think I better leave now because it's starting to get chilly and I'm also really hungry. So, see ya.